Hi, in this video we are going to talk about autocatalytic reactions and their reactor types. Previously I had uh, released a video on autocatalytic reactions but that talks only about the kinetics. This video is about the reactor types required for autocatalytic reactions. Now in an autocatalytic reaction what you would see is uh, let's say uh, I am just drawing the rate curve so 1 by minus Ra and Xa is the conversion on the x axis then you would have a rate curve like this. So there is a point at which your reaction rate is maximum okay. After that what happens as your reactant begins to deplete the process no longer progresses forward but in the beginning as the uh, product forms the reaction progresses rapidly okay so when we talk about this kind of reactions uh, the first thing that we note is we want presence of product to drive the reaction Okay, now comes the sub cases whether we want to use a plug flow reactor, whether we want to use a mixed flow reactor, whether we want a recycle operation or no recycle. These will be the main questions to consider in this particular video. Okay, so first let us take the case that we are not working with any recycle, no recycle is taking place. So <clears throat> let's say we have a rate curve xa by 1 minus ra that looks like this and I want a final conversion of xa f over here. So now if I use a plug flow reactor then this area under the curve would give me the volume. But if I use a mixed flow reactor, I would get a much lower volume if you see graphically. So for lower conversions, I would prefer to go with mixed flow reactors when recycle is not in the picture. Let's now take another case. So I have conversion and I have the rate curve so I have this kind of rate curve here I want a conversion till here XAF in this case if you put the plug flow reactor or if you put a mixed flow reactor you are practically getting visually almost same volume. So for intermediate uh, conversions, you, this plug flow reactor or the mixed flow reactor may be equally good. Okay, this will be a matter of choice. Let's take another case. So you have x again and 1 by minus ra and you have a rate curve like this. So now let's say you want this final conversion. So if you now use a plug flow reactor and if you use a mixed flow reactor, you see the plug flow volume is much lesser. So we would like to go for plug flow reactors in higher conversions. I hope this makes sense graphically. This is how we interpret. But one thing you must keep in mind, if you have just a plug flow reactor, you cannot work with pure reactant because in plug flow reactor we do not have back mixing involved so through the length of the reactor the reaction will not progress unless product is present that is why you need to prime the feed 
of the plug flow reactor with product for the progress of the reaction. This is one very important thing to keep in mind. Otherwise, you have to go for recycle. Anyhow, for PFR uh, configuration, you cannot work with pure reactant when it comes to autocatalytic reactions. You can do so for MFR, but not for PFR. Okay. Now coming to the concept of recycle. So when we talk about a recycle in uh, case of autocatalytic reactions, uh, we have to talk about the term optimum recycle. So how much exactly should we recycle? There is one optimum measure which is going to give you the desired final conversion at a minimum size requirement. How do we find that? So to find that, the first thing that you need to note is the performance equation for a recycle reactor. So I am just going to write the performance equation for a recycle reactor. For any changing density system, that is volume ratio is uh, not equals to 0, sorry. V by Fa0 that is volume of the reactor by molar feed rate equals to R plus 1, R here being the recycle ratio, integration from R by R plus 1 XAF to XAF divided by DXA by minus RA. Okay, this is the performance equation for a recycle reactor. Now to find the optimum recycle ratio, what we would like to do is differentiate the performance equation, let me call it PF, differentiate the performance equation with respect to the recycle ratio R. Okay, And this will give you the expression to find the stationary point. So, you can simply write d tau c a tau by c a naught by d r. If you take this uh, equals to 0, you will get the stationary point. Now, this tau by c a naught is obviously equals to v by f a naught. I hope uh, this is not a very big question over here. Uh, the bigger question is to determine the stationary point. Okay, So we are actually using only the necessary uh, condition to find the optimum point of recycle ratio. Now uh, without going into too much mathematical details, finally what you obtain is 1 by minus Ra at conversion xai equals to integration xai to xaf dxa by minus ra by xaf minus xai. So what does this mean? This means that the optimum recycle ratio introduces the reactor to such a feed whose 1 by minus RA value is equal to the average 1 by minus RA value of the entire reactor. What does this graphically mean? So, let us say again you have the rate curve like so. Now, you are going to introduce the feed at this value of 1 by minus RA which is very close to the average value if you can see. This will be close to the average value of 1 by minus RA. If you do that then you are getting whether you use a plug flow reactor or a mixed flow reactor, you will get a achievable conversion at a much, you know, better way, I mean, for a minimum volume requirement, okay. So, you are closer to the 
not closer you are exactly at the average i mean graphically it is not so clear because you are not exactly using graph papers over here but yeah the point is you want to remain at a 1 by minus ra value such that it is close or almost equal to the average of the entire 1 by minus ra value for the whole reactor so this is how you get the optimum ratio now this auto catalytic reactions if you talk about its application it's very well applied in fermentation reactions and you can directly use this design equations for uh, fermentation reactions as well if they are for uh, a single reaction type but for multiple reaction type you need to go into further analysis now uh, generally for reactor combinations i would like to show you what happens if you use uh, plug flow reactor and mixed flow reactor in combination so you have a mixed flow reactor first so that there is some amount of you know back mixing taking place and then you send it to pfr so that it is automatically primed with some product so this is ca0 pfr and caf over here mixed so in this case uh, you can use the mixed flow reactor first which you obviously need to given the general guideline that you cannot use uh, pure reactant for plug flow reactor in case of autocatalytic reactions our target should always be to reach the highest possible uh, conversion in the first step itself okay and another way is also to send a recycle back so you can also use a recycle operation if you have the uh, you know scope to do so like at the recycle step there may be some separation involved so if you can easily do that operate with a recycle that is it for autocatalytic reactions and their different reactor combinations thank you